What if men could get pregnant? You may have heard of certain animals, such as the pipefish or the seahorse, where it's the father who carries and births the offspring. But what about human beings? What if male-born people could get pregnant and ultimately develop a child inside of their bodies? And the answer is, <laughs> are you sitting down? Theoretically, they already can. It is a common misconception that a human fetus is only able to develop within the uterus. In actual fact, roughly one in every 10,000 pregnancies does not happen this way. Here's how it works. The male sperm races down the fallopian tube to meet his feminine counterpart. They agree to start a relationship, <laughs> fertilize, and together travel back down the fallopian tube to attach their new home onto the walls of the uterus. However, sometimes the egg may be dangerously close to the opening of the tube, and she can accidentally slip and fall out the other end, down into the pits of the abdomen. Curiously enough, the ambitious embryo often tries to make the best of a bad situation and implants itself into any living tissue it can find, from the intestines, to the kidney, to the liver. Oh, it just doesn't care. It just wants to grow. And grow, it does. In many cases, a female abdomen has housed an unborn baby for the full nine months, and one C-section later, the baby is out and the job is done. Which brings us to the question. With so few physiological differences between a man and a woman's stomach, why don't we attempt to achieve the same results in males too? The main problem with this idea is that abdominal pregnancy is still a life-threatening condition. You see, only the uterus knows how to create a detachable lining, which allows for the placenta to be rejected without any hassle. However, if this placenta has fused with some other random vital organ, there becomes no clear boundary between the two, and its removal can cause severe damage to its host. Oh, at some point, biologists could potentially interfere and force the placenta to attach to a less vulnerable organ, but why would anyone intentionally subject a person to this otherwise entirely accidental occurrence? Of course, there is another possibility, a uterus transplant. Now, this procedure is already a standard practice for many women lacking functional uteruses, and many successful births have been achieved this way. With that in mind, experts hypothesized that there is no reason why this surgery wouldn't work on a man. By utilizing a delicate concoction of his own sperm, a donor's eggs, a strict regime of hormonal injections, voila! <laughs> a pregnant man! Of course, after the nine months were up, the baby would have absolutely no way to get out. But one C-section later, and there you go. A healthy, bouncing baby as ordered, developed, and birthed by his daddy. And thanks to all those hormones he's been taking, he may even lactate too.